Welcome to Water and the Spirit podcast, a Bible study episode read by Pastor Jerry Sakala on sermons on important subjects by Reverend Paul C. Jong. Today's sermon is God's Church that will be greatly harmed in the future. Revelation 12 verses 1 to 17. Now a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a garland of twelve stars. Then being with child, she cried out in labor and in pain to give birth. And another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great fiery red dragon having seven heads and ten horns, and seven diadems on his heads. His tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth, to devour her child as soon as it was born. She bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up to God and his throne. Then the woman fled into the wilderness, where she was. She has a place prepared by God that they would, should feed her 1,260 days. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought, but they did not prevail. Nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old, called the devil and Satan. Who deceived the whole world? He was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come for the accuser of our brethren who accused them before God day and night has been cast down and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of the testimony and they did not love their lives to the death therefore rejoice O heavens and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. Now when the dragon saw that he had been cast to the earth, he persecuted the woman who gave birth to the male child. But the woman was given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness to her place where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the presence of the serpent. So the serpent spewed water out of his mouth like a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood. But the earth helped the woman and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon had spewed out of his mouth and the dragon was enraged with the woman and he went to make war with the rest of her offspring who keep the commandments of God and have testimony of Jesus Christ exegesis verse 1 now a great sign appeared in heaven a woman clothed with the Sun with the moon under her feet and on her head a garland of 12 stars this tells us of God's church giving glory to him through martyrdom. The woman clothed with the sun refers to God's church on the on this earth, and the phrase with the moon under her feet means that the church is still under the rule of the world. The phrase on her head a garland of twelve stars, on the other hand, means that his church will overcome Satan's persecutions and threats with its martyrdom. This verse refers to God's church in the midst of the great tribulation. His church will suffer great harm from Satan and be martyred in the end times, but it will nevertheless overcome Satan with its faith and be glorified by God. Even in the tribulation, the saints of God's church will overcome the Antichrist and triumph with their martyrdom by believing in the gospel of water and the spirit. 
the children of God who have been born again by water and the Spirit will most certainly be martyred in the end times. Those who would have already believed and served God before the advent of the tribulation and those who would believe in the gospel will rise up like so many mushrooms amidst the tribulation. They will both have faith of martyrdom and can enable them that can enable them to stand against and overcome the Antichrist. Those who are executed from martyrdom by betraying him will also be excluded from heaven and fall into the hell of Hades along with Satan. And we should be prepared to embrace our martyrdom with bold faith lest we lose our eternal blessings prepared for us. And we have to know that all the born again will face the threats of Satan. Martyrdom will last only momentarily. And when this brief moment is over, the millennial kingdom of heaven will be ours. As such, we must live this present era knowing that when the end times come, we will be martyred by faith and through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will then give us the words with which to speak in this time of martyrdom, enabling us to courageously overcome our persecution and willingly embrace our martyrdom without betraying our faith. Even in the midst of the fearful tribulation, God's church will still fight against Satan and overcome him by being martyred. It is most clear that the church will receive its reward from God by overcoming the Antichrist with its martyrdom, believing in the Lord's word even in the last era of Satan. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.